Alright, what's up guys, it's Mark here from Techie Tutorials, bringing you yet another Sony Vegas Pro tutorial, and I'm happy to be here. Now today I'm just going to be going over one or two frequent problems that my subscribers have had, or my viewers have had. I get these comments repeatedly every day, and it's really annoying to keep answering them. I try to answer as many as possible, but so there's just one or two things that I'd like to cover. Now if you have a problem, please leave it below and um, I'll try to get around to you. I won't be covering a lot here, I just want to cover one or two things. So the first thing is, my video won't upload to YouTube. It says, failed to convert. This is such a problem with Vegas. Such a common problem. Everyone has this problem at one time or another. I probably had this problem at the start. So what happens is, when you go to File and Save As, you can save your projects. We're going to say TT project file. Save and that's done. Now what that what that does is it saves it as a VEG file. This is a Sony Vegas file. Sony Vegas files have this logo or if you're in an older version, Pro 9, Pro 8, they'll have some Sony Vegas logo. Maybe it's the blue uh, Sony logo. You'll have some Sony Vegas logo there. What this means is that this is a project file which means that it can only be opened in Sony Vegas. So if you want to save your project and come back and edit it later, you go to File, Save As. If you want to upload to YouTube, you have to go to File, Render As. Now what we're going to do is make sure we're on WMV, which is not AVI, WMV. This is my preferred uploading setting. Now I have a YouTube HD template. If you're not that big an uploader, go ahead and stick with the default template. If you want to find out how to create the YouTube HD, you can click the link in the underbar. There'll be a link to that. And what you're going to do is click save and your video is going to go ahead and render. Now it seems to be going pretty fast here because this is a very small video. And uh, the longer video you have, the longer time it will take. Now, in reference to rendering, another problem that a lot of, lot of people have is that either, let's see, it only rendered three seconds of my two of my video uh, there's a big black space at the end so for instance this is nine seconds long or ten seconds long but my video goes on to 20 seconds with just black space now what this is most probably all of the time or 99% of the time is that you've put on this little fancy thing here which is called the loop region I don't make any use of it but uh, it's here and a lot of people put it on by accident. For instance, if you double click like that, it's going to be put onto that little segment there. So if you do, for instance, let's say we just put it on here by accident to add an extra 20 seconds on, you're not going to really notice that too much. So you're going to go to File and Render As, and you're going to render out. So to avoid this, if you can come down here and see this third little checkbox, you can unclick Render Loop Region Only. What this will do is it will mean it, this means that it will only render your project and it will stop at the end of your project. If you click render loop region only, it will keep going and keep going until the end of the loop region. Now it's the exact same thing if you're only getting three seconds of your video, like somewhere like this. And you might not be able to see it if it's zoomed out a lot. Uh, for instance, you come out, it's harder to see. So um, if you're getting three seconds of your video or something, it's the exact same thing, render as. You're going to make sure you untick this render loop region only and go ahead and click save. And that's all of your problems sorted right there. Now the last problem I'm going to be covering is the problem of Windows. A lot of people, or not a lot of people, but some people, and it's a very understandable problem, have the problem that they X out something by accident and, oh no, where's my preview screen gone? Uh, guys, don't worry about it. Very simple to get it back. What you're going to do is go ahead and click view. And here you can see a big list of windows that you can have open. And all you have to do is click or unclick whichever ones you do or don't want. So uh, we're going to go ahead and come down here and click, let's see, trimmer. You can see the trimmer pops up here. Okay. Now what can happen is, as you saw earlier, I clicked on video preview. Video preview. Nothing's popped up. Over here I can see this line of dots, this little X here. I'm going to come here and drag out here because I saw that my window was slightly shoved over there to the side. Okay? Another problem with Windows is some people, you know, if you drag it out, 
you use the three dots to drag it around or when it's a window like this you can just drag it around freely okay if you want to pop it in just drag it back up and yeah now so if you drag it out by accident and you do something like this you're moving it around you're moving it around and you do that by accident you might not notice and what you're going to do is you're going to say it's ticked it's not here where is it so if you're having a problem like that and you don't know where it is you're going to right click on your taskbar click properties click auto hide taskbar click apply now I can see mine there already so I'm going to try and come down and just bring that up and there we go and I'm going to click it back in and there we go it's way back as I started I'm going to come back here and unclick and click apply okay done we're back to normal so there are a few problems that I know a lot of people do have and they're very understandable I hope this video helped you I hope you checked it out and uh, if you did like it click that like button leave any problems or suggestions for tutorials down in the comment section below and uh, yeah guys I guess I'll see you next time thank you very much for watching you can find all the links and such in the in the description bar below down in my pants alright guys peace I'll see you